Today will be an intellectual proof. Today will be an intellectual Christmas day for our year. Because Hello Costa is about to release classified information. The man is about to release classified documentation. The man is about to release information that you have not seen before in your life. Today is the D day. The Tucson will be the VJ day. Today is the day where Hello Costa and another university student that they should no longer be blind when it comes to the issue of standing for our country. Today is the day of Pentecost. Well, students of the University of Bula will be speaking in tongue after they listen to the global message of stomach out of law and Costa. Today will be an intellectual revolutionary matter don't do. Well, also, no, will will be will be That's why we are asking us this. Don't waste your time in no classes. Don't waste your time reading a key economics. Don't waste your time studying John Adam. Don't waste your time studying John Minakiris. Don't waste your economic policy are backward, they are a key, they are also there and they are all star. Come and hear the continuing world. Come and hear the fascinating. Come and hear the intriguing information from Labiro Beach, Labiro Gantua, and Patagua Intellectual. A man who has dedicated his entire life to the Master Struggle. A man who, since his inception into the political fabric and the progress phase of Labiro, has continued, has perpetually and consistently. We mean on the side of the people. And if you are on the side of the people, it means you are on the side of the violence of your party. Soup is always on the side of the people. And soup will never, ever move for a historical revolutionary role when the Labour people were subjected to living in Bantu Star, Santa Town. Such as Sony Way, West Point, Sika, and Bruce Quarter. When the Labour people were subjected as something of exclusion to the State Royal University, testament to these nine steps. Like a year day, when people like Dwayne, when people like Kali, when people like Yamaoro, the people like Kane. When people like the rest of the native leave were never allowed access to the Nevada Bureau, it is the Far House Education Party, along with other progressive forces, that led the orchestration, that led the particular Blast Week, that led the mass into history. Today, before I was so happy, we had to kill. Almost knock out for one little man to enter the University of Lapua. If you come and check this step, you will see Soso, Peter C, you will see Tools, you will see Tosi, you will see Kewe, you will see Kasi, all the C. And even some people change their name, they pass out C. It was only Peter Kew who had the ability. So when you come, you, anytime you come here, read a name, you will read a rap. So now we are expecting the historical arrival of the most powerful man of the financial regional parties. The man we had a trust Angela, the man we had a trust Pata. Well, that is uh, the arrival of the chairman and the standard barrier of the students with the Venetian parties. Uh, that's uh, Carlos Dimas and uh, Martin Foley of the, the Raven. So share, share with others. Henry B. Costa is here to speak to you, the students of the, uni uh, of the University of Iberia. Amen. 
Students Unification Party to come and speak ahead of uh, the plan June 7 protest. As you may be aware, comes June 7, some Liberians will be taking the street to petition their government. And Henry is now on the campus here. It's just a moment of time for him to mark the podium to speak to uh, the students and other Liberians who will be following. So share this. Share this uh, broadcast. <laughs> This is the party I wanted to be. 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 into the utopia of the acquisition of wealth by this wealthy CDC government. He's here not only to fire your imagination into the acquisition of wealth, he's also here to expose the rotten layers of the elements within the CDC who are bent on looting and oppressed. Come on, many times, students of the Independent Bureau. Hero Costa is here to explain to you not about kleptocracy, not about kakistocracy, not about oligarchy and plutocracy. He's here today to explain to you about a new form of government that has been founded by George Wiyako, plutocracy. He's here to explain to you about a form of government founded by Luthers. So, the form of government called plutocracy. And we are moving to into our program beginning with welcome remarks. We will now call on from the Roman formula, Assistant Secretary General of the Finance Security Party to do our welcome remarks quickly. Now we call you to our program. 
Today we are also privileged to have in our midst the most powerful man on the campuses of the University of Liberia, the man who presides over the Tuapara and the Triangular Arrangement of the Puerto Bureau, the Central Committee, concomitantly the General Congress of the Vanguard Union Unification Party. We want to recognize the most powerful man from the cadre, Chairman Carlos Timber Anderson of the Revolutionary Vanguard Union Unification Party. We want to say you are welcome, Honorable Chairman. Amana! Amana! Allow me also a little latitude of time to recognize the standard bearer, the man who bear the standard of our party. He's no one else. But well, his comrade standard bearer, Martin Kekula Nambokori, want to say you are recognized. We also want to use this occasion to welcome all of the militants, especially the female militants who have been very resourceful in making sure that the party remains on course. Want to say you are recognized. We also want to recognize the chairman in our of our party. The chairman emeritus of our party is not a stranger to this gallery and to this sacrosanct intellectual discourse. It's a man who has stood the test of time, who has discussed under the result. It's no one ever chair emeritus chairman of the 28th Central Committee for the people who come to the General Congress of Vanguard Student Education Party. Yeah. Yeah. Having said that, before I take a leave of you, that we have always told you, this generation is our generation, and there is no need for us to be spectators. We must be fully we must be full participants of history, so that tomorrow we will have our role in history. I want to say thank you ever so much for coming and being a part of this successful, wonderful occasion. We now turn the microphone over to the MC. Jesus! Come and say it all in the first to the now get time. We are not in 1979. We did not get time in 2003. We did not get time. We are not going to be there. Two cells. Two cells. Two cells. Amana. Amana. Come as a first. Today is an intellectual holiday. Today is an intellectual rare letter day. Salus populi supremola asto. The welfare of the people is the supreme law. Those no personal contact can also. Give us a place to stand and soup will move the world. Comrades, before I move forward, let me tell you a few, let me tell you a few minutes from now. We will be taking the most eloquent, the most prolific writer, the most the most acrobatic intellectual of our generation, the man who is the face. Of the year belly of the Van Gaal Care Party. So, the man who has written series of articles, leaflets, and pamphlets, he can be equated to Abbott. The man who wrote series of arguments against the Tottenham administration, he will be coming here to give us a presentation and introduce to you speaker of today because I'm very very much on holy to introduce this great picture of our land. I'm very very much on holy to introduce the man who life you can go above five point six k the man who is listening to all over the world on a best of quickly let me call on this program stage Papa Malemu Papa teacher Papa leader Papa writer Martin Takula Namo Koli Kali Kakula Namo, Mati, Mati Kakula Namo, Kali, stand up there at the Fang House of the Party. Viva! Viva 
Viva! Ah, oh, ne pas la Viva! 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 Save the state. Two seven. Save the state. Two seven. Two seven. Save the state. Save the state. Save the state. Two seven. As promised, the Vanguard Student Unification Party is going to mobilize over 50,000 youth and students across the 15 political subdivisions of our country for June 7. Let me begin by acknowledging the sacrosanct presence of the most powerful man on the campuses of the University of Liberia, who presides over the child pattern triangular section of the indomitable Vanguard Student Unification Party. He's no one else but Comrade Adjoa, Paragon, Carlos Timba Ellison. I also want to recognize the presence of the man who occupies or sits on the second quadrant of the revolutionary political cartesian premium of the Vanguard Student Unification Party. Yes. He's no one else but Comrade Adjula Mohamed Dibé. I also want to recognize co-chair the Abstentia. His name is Charles Sondé. Want to recognize Acting Secretary General Romeo Fambule. Want to recognize the Propaganda Chair who is our MC. I also want to recognize the, a very powerful tool Ideological militants and Star Wars of the Vanguard Student Unification Party. Sir. Permit me also to acknowledge the presence of all of you university students. Today we are going to launch a campaign, and that campaign is going to be called One Bring 200 as of today. One Bring 200, listen very well, conscious university students. Leading to June 7, the Vanguard Student Unification Party. Sir wants to encourage or acknowledge all of you to canvas, to campaign, to mobilize in the loops and corners of our republic. Each one of you must mobilize at least, I'm not saying at most, at least. In English, it means the minimum. At least 200 persons for the protest on June 7. An Algerian revolutionary said, his name is Frank Fanon, Frank Fanon said in a quote, every generation has a mission. Either that mission is fulfilled or betrayed in relative opacity. Today, we have given power to a ruling clique of kleptocrats and kakistocrats. This has got to change. Before President Uriah became president, the price of a sachet, a bag of water, was five dollars. But today, the price of a bag of water is $10. That grew out of Before President Ria became president, our exchange rate was around 142, held due to one US dollar. Today our exchange rate is 189.5, held due to one US dollar. That grew out of Before President Ria became president of Congress, we had 154 million as our foreign net reserve. It has been depleted to 19 million a grew out of bar. Before President Ria became president, before President Ria became president, the, 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 the inflation rate was less than 24 percent. Today it is 28.9 percent a grew out of bar. Before President Ria became president, he now had to, he now has 49 units. Today he has 49 units a grew out of bar. Before he became president, Congress. Before you became president, our people were never suffering. University students did not pay money for testing. The budget of the university was 16.2 million. University students had no reason to struggle for buses. You promised to pay your tuition up to now, you have not paid it down, that grew out of bar. So permit me to welcome, permit me to introduce, permit me to introduce our special guests. Our special guest for today's program, we could go online in some of the ministers and SSS on the world's most corrupt government. The most corrupt government since 1847. 16 missing billion, 25 years million all accounted for. The government is not working in your interest and you must come out on June 7. So at this time, as standard bearer of the Student Unification Party, I want to introduce our special guest. The special guest is already known. 
the entire country, the entire continent, the entire world, already know our special guest. Our special guest is a popular, perhaps the most, the most popular talk show host, the very brilliant talk show host. He's articulate, he's brilliant, he's sensitive to the price of the ordinary people, he has a voice for millions of librarians across the 15 political subdivision. Our special guest is an employer. He's not an employee, he's an employer. As you are aware, he was an establishment that has employed over 20 persons. Our special guest today is a Liberian citizen, not just a Liberian citizen, but a patriotic and nationalistic Liberian citizen. He has advocated for ordinary people, he has raised funding for a numerous of significant passes in the best interest of the political class, especially the PSS and the progress of the poor. Today, conscious university students have an opportunity to, inter to, to interact, to interface and intermingle with one of Liberia's finest sons. He's no one else but an agile law, a revolutionary, a fearless compatriot of the state. Permit me now, as we give a standing ovation and applause, to welcome you will love Good afternoon. Good afternoon to you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. I am deeply honored and humbled to have been extended the opportunity to come here today to speak to you, my brothers and sisters. I thank the leadership of the student body here at the nation's oldest and highest institution of learning, Lux in Tenebris. You continue to remain the light in darkness. It is here that lead us good ones as well as not so good ones are created. But you have never, never forfeited your responsibility to remain a powerful voice within our country. Which is why whenever it is said that the University of Liberia is the macrocosm of the larger society, it is indeed a statement of fact that needs no further validation. Um, I bring you things from my family, and I want to salute you all for your time out here today. But I'm not going to bore you with pleasantries. Let me move speedily to the issues that matter. Why are we protesting? Why must we protest? Is there any other option? If we do not protest, what do we do? Do we sit down, fold our arms, and wash your university collapse? Do we see transportation fares continue to increase? Do we see the bag, the price of a bag of rice continue to increase? Do we get turned away from hospitals because they lack electricity and medical supplies? We must protest. When the framers of our constitution drafted our constitution many, many years ago when our country was founded, they enshrined in that constitution Article 17. Article 17 is the right for the citizens to assemble, to petition their government to do something or not to do something. We are going to assemble beginning June 7th. June 7th witness the greatest and most peaceful process in the history of this country. It will not be for one day. Dr. Martin Luther King and all the great revolutionaries and civil rights activists in America did not accomplish what they accomplished, freedom and desegregation for the black people in America by protesting for one day. On August 28th, 1963, 250,000 Americans gathered 
mostly blacks, but there were whites, there were Jews, there were Gentiles, there were Christians, and there were Protestants. And they gathered in Washington, D.C., the heart of the United States. And Dr. King gave speech that is reverberating across history, across civilizations, across the world. I have a dream. And one year later, in 1964, the greatest accomplishment of the civil rights movement was, a, was, was attained. President Linda B. Johnson finally seized the dilly-dallying, the, 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 the posturing, and the, all those procrastinating games. And he eventually signed what is called the Civil Rights Movement, I mean the Civil Rights Act, giving all black people, all people, equal rights in the United States. Mahatma Gandhi, the father of India, led Indians, his protégés, led Nahara Nehru, and they protested against British rule until in 1947 the British grew tired and they granted India the independence. Nelson Mandela, our own now fallen, but his memory lives forever in our minds. Nelson Mandela, we know what he did. For many years, even while he was in prison, the struggle continued. And eventually on February 11, 1990, he was set free from prison. And four years later, he would go on to become South Africa's president, the first black president of that nation. We know what happened. Peaceful, non-violent protest is the greatest weapon in history, according to Dr. Martin Luther King. He said, non-violence is the greatest weapon in history. It, it strikes, but it does not wound. And he who wields it is ennobled by it. And this is the weapon that we are going to use. We are not going to use Kalashikas and RPGs and, and, and M16s. We are going to use our hands and our bodies and our legs and we will walk and we will lock arms and together we will make such a powerful statement that the international community cannot ignore. That no longer would they sit by and allow a corrupt regime in Liberia suppress the people, marginalize us, enrich themselves and behave like that. We do not make it. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. We, the Constitution, Article 1 of the Liberian Constitution is clear. All power is inherent in the people. And it is their free will that institutes government for their safety and for their benefit and happiness. And if they are safe, they so repent, they may alter it. But these are not election times, so clearly we cannot alter the government now through elections. But when the people assemble, they can peaceably alter the government. As they've done in Sudan, they brought a dictator down who was in power for 30 years. Peaceful men and women, medical doctors, students, journalists, they all gathered. We saw what happened in Algeria. A, a, a president who had been in power for over 30 years, Abdulaziz Bouteflika, he didn't want to step down peacefully. Now. We saw what happened in Mali. The entire cabinet was fired when people came out to protest. We saw what happened in France when French citizens came out to protest. To protest. President Emmanuel Macron had to undo and rescind some of his policies that were not people-centered. We saw what happened in Arab world when Tunisia, a vegetable seller, a college educated vegetable seller, Mohamed Bouzeze, who was selling his fruits, and every day the police of the regime would come and they would destroy his market. And one day he got mad and said, Enough is enough. And he said, Into the blaze. And thus began the greatest democratic fervor for change in the Arab world. And we saw what happened. Governments came to their knees when the people stood up. Every time the people sign up, history tells us that change happens. Whether it's in America, whether it's in Asia, whether it's in Africa, the people are the most powerful. Oh, our power is hearing the people say. Yeah. Oh, we are as not popular than the people say. Yeah. Oh, the people are popular than George. We are saying. President Studio will come on June 7 until our demands are met. Say, oh, we must give the university 49 million. Say, Amanda, Amanda, Aluta.
120 representatives and senators have a budget of 49 million United States dollars. In a country of 4.5 million people. The President of the Republic has a budget of almost $4 million. Yeah. The Speaker of the House, his budget is over $1 million. Martin has all his specific numbers. I'm just giving you the vicinity. The Chief Justice, when you add the budgets for the President, the Chief Justice, the Speaker, the Pro Tem, the Deputy Speaker, is well over $10 million for five or six individuals. Is it fair? I find it morally wrong. When people in this country are struggling to make ends meet, governments come to power, one government after the other, and they abuse our rights and the thing that they own the country. They build rooms right in front of our eyes when we knew they had nothing. They build condominiums, they buy real estate, they fly private jets when we are suffering. Did we all see George we have fly private jet before he became president? No. Today he flies private jet. He goes on trips that do not matter. He goes to play football abroad. When we talk, they say we are just hate positions. That's what they call us. We hate the government. The government must understand that the power it has comes from the people. George Weah was not more popular than Charles Taylor. Charles Taylor won an election of over 75% of the votes. George Weah received 38% in the first round. And yet Taylor was first out of here even though a two military con conflict. And that is what we do not want. Military conflict sets us back. But peaceful protest cannot set us back. We have managed to capture to, to the attention of the international community. Today at 4.40 p.m., we're having a meeting with one of Africa's most respected career diplomats, Dr. Mohammed Ibn Chimbas. He's arriving in like he's already arrived in Liberia. He is the Under Secretary General and Special Representative of the United Nations Secretary General for West Africa and the Sahel region. He is coming to meet with us. Next week, the president of the ECOWAS Commission is coming to meet with us. And they are not coming to ask us to not protest. They cannot tell us not to exercise our constitutional right. They only want to ensure that George Weah has an opportunity to deliver to you, the people. They are trying to facilitate where the president delivers to you. But when the government feels that making concessions to the people would, would be a sign of weakness, then that government must face the peaceful, non-violent wrath of the people. And that is why we need to assemble beginning to self. This we will not make you melt. You are not sugar. We will assemble beginning to self, and we will make a powerful statement, and we will make those who are listening. And if those who are cannot listen, if those who are cannot deliver on our demands, then those who are needs to leave the presidency. I look forward to seeing all of you on June 7th, Friday. Thank you so much. God bless you. And let's together save the sick. Thank you. Amanda. Amanda. Hello. Please don't go. The chairman is about to speak. Please don't go. Listen briefly. Amanda. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Y
Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And let me stop back recognizing the sacred presence of our today's guest speaker. Who have been a big honorable revolutionary and representative poster? A man of the people. You know, a few weeks ago, a month plus ago, we were involved into a very tragic motor accident. One of our sex band, this nationalist, this patriot, decided in his own mind independently to launch an SOS call to well meaning Liberians who are very humanitarian enough so that they can come to the court of us who are very desperate for recuperation from the very situation that we were confronted with. He launched an SOS call and he raised an amount of $1,318 USD. He is a brother. He is a nationalist. But beyond this, I want to be very brief. He has said it all. Beyond this, June 7th is no distance away. June 7th is no distance away. And I want to say to you, like Prophet Joshua said to the children of Israel in the wilderness, he said, choose this day whom you may serve. He said, as for me and my household, we are choosing to serve the Lord. I don't care what you may be thinking about. But for me and my household, in the van house today in the vacation party, we will appear on June 7th. Let me say this. Let me say this. We are getting some information that the government, Joe NSA, has deployed a political vaccination, a very diabolical political vaccination, so as to crack down us in another tool to harm us before June 7th. Go and tell them that they are limited to do that. But now you forget that we have a very counter, we have a very way to counter them, a very good way to counter them. June 7th is our right to assemble, it is our right to protest. There is none of you who is here in this garden today or who is far away hearing us that will say to us, You have not protested before. Put your hand Even your own house, you can protest. When your food is not sufficient, you protest. Even a one day old baby, when you refuse to get that baby breast milk, that people will embarrass you the whole night. That people can protest. When the situation is not going right, it is our right to protest. It is our constitutional and statutory right to protest. Two story is not different. We are going to appear and we are going to demand to save the state. Please come out, Joe Sarri. We cannot stop us. If you are step back and listen to the radio, you are going to be listening to the news. We will be the maker of the news. This way we are going to engage. Let us press up your bazooka also. Let him be a GNT RPG. Kill us. But if you can't kill us, we will demand change. Unconditional change in this country. This country is too old. 170 years plus. We do old, very old enough to be like this. Ghana is 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 more up. Come here, come here.
Pastor is currently on the University of Liberia campus. And uh, you listen to him. You listen to him. And we are here. So it's about time we speak to some of the students who came to grace those occasions. Oh, welcome, Chief. Thank you very much. We just witnessed the arrival and the speech that was delivered by Henry P. Costa. What's your take on the June 7 protest? Yes, uh, like uh, Henry Costa and other patriarchal Liberia have said, uh, Article 1 of the Liberia Constitution is clear that power is the head of any people in all government and uh, institutions of their authority. So the people have the right to rise up to the location wherever they are demands are enough. And so that's the reason why we to go sanity in order to justify that the people have the right to assemble to petition the government for their common good. So uh, two subtle products is the most and, 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 and nothing can stop that because the people are spoken and the people are Glad uh -huh. for the masses of our people and our people have spoken and we will respect the decision of our people to rise up on June 7 to protest and petition their government for their common good. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. Uh, we, 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 we still continue. What's up, Chief? Welcome. <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, it's nice meeting you, Chief. Uh, I'm seeing you on the University of Liberia campus, and you are an activist. Tell us, what are you doing here? I came along with Henry, you know, he taught for us to come. He here to speak to the students on uh, the pending June 7 protest. Are you in support of the June 7 protest? Yes, yes. Why you are you supporting the protest? Uh, but since so you and I know we don't need a rocket scientist to tell us that the country economy is bad, our people are suffering, you know, there's a need for change. So, you know, we have to come in our numbers to protest and petition our government, you know, to make some change. You know, the foreign activities have increased, and people are suffering. Like, even you've been following my activity on THG selling and other things, then the amount of THG selling in our country have increased, and they are increasing our daily basis. So, there's a need that we come out to protest. But tell us, uh, uh, about this protest, uh, we are hearing that your organizers are trying to compromise with the government. No, it can never be. They will not compromise the protest. Okay, thank you very much. You. Are you in support of the protest? Sure. Why you are supporting the protest? Uh, what you want to see? It was not in uh -huh. because they write right to assemble and then file a petition to the government and uh, the law petition may request mm -hmm. and so it's encouraging for us as citizens to gather and like call for the common good of the country. What are some of the things you want the government to do and she's not doing it? From a look at the deflations in economies, our economy is what we as the president said. And then we have experts as our report, and so they need to come together, craft a policy to save the state. Is is the protest the only way to save the state? Sure, sure, sure. It's Why you think it is the only way? I think one of the way that the government be called to attention. They are have serious meeting in the year, and still we can't see anything. People are still living in error, and then it's still cramped in the misbehave. You know when we put people into stewardship. It is imperative upon them to act according to what is done. But none of this, we've seen uh, 16 billion broad laws, 25 for the mock-ups, and then we can't hear no things. And so when you look at the current GAC report, it proves that we are not ready to do business. And so we need to knock on the doors of government and international partners to come in and make that very better life. What are you doing personally to make June 7 a successful one? Now, as you can see from the end of the Vanguard Student Education Party, mm -hmm. we are pledged our intention to put not less than 80,000 students in the library across the subred of Liberia. Okay, thank you. What's your name again? I'm Texter Tapper. Okay, Chief, welcome. Are you in support of the June 7 protest? Oh, yes, yes. Why you are you in support? I'm in support of the June 7 protest because the first thing we make uh, as we are our president because we believe that he can bring change to us. And uh, for 12 years, the Liberian people have suffered from the nation and, uh, and we feel that President Ria was going to make a great present for us. 
us. But since you know, we are become president, we understand that the friction rate of our country is very high. Our, our labranda has lost its value. The price of basic commodity you know, is expensive on the market. You know, and people, people are still, you know, for example, the president gave his executive uh, order that you know, the uh, 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 Congress military should stop selling RPDs, but they are still selling RPDs. And so many things going on. And we are not satisfied. So the better way we see to express that is not to vote gun or one act of ego, but to protest peacefully to draw the attention of the international community so that the president and his workers, his co workers, can deliver for uh, uh, us. You supported President We are during the election? Yes, yeah, yeah, I supported President We are voting for the Why are you uh, this time around uh, going against? I am not like going against President We are, but I am doing many change from President We are. Because the expectation we have during the election's time, we expected that uh, President We are was going to bring us change. There's a reason why we, we fight Joseph Buaka, because he was Joseph Buaka and other forces, because we believe that those people are you know, uh, uh, part of the, the, the past regime. So we, we needed someone who resembled us, someone who suffered like us, someone who played football out there and helped you know, and put Liberia on that stage. That people could see Liberia, a Liberian player, you who know, playing among international players. So, and he made changes in life, his personal life. We see changes. He graduated from stage to stage and then became a uh, millionaire. So we feel that he was transformed that teachers and you know, uh, all into uh, leadership. That was the reason why you know, So uh, you are telling us that President we are betray you. Yeah, President, we are you know uh, uh, he's not meeting our demands. He's betraying us. He's betraying he still have five years, we are still change. But he's betraying he's betraying us currently. And there is nothing we can hear from the president. There are so many things happening. Says what is it? What, what is it really you want the president to say at this time? What I want the president to say, I want the president to come to Elaborant to, to show us that all of those people that he employed, that he appointed, that are not working in the interest of Elaborant people, I want him to tell us and assure us that he will place those people with people who are willing to transform our country at this stage. We, we, look, at, look at us. Look at university students. For example, look at us. The president needs to put his feet on the fire. Our people are suffering. We are buying cover of rest of uh, 75 dollars and that, that, that 50 dollars or uh, 75 to vote on her 40 dollars for cover of rest. It's not fair. It's not fair. So we want the president to show that you know, we want the president to, to ensure that he can change some of those people. Okay. Alright, uh folks, we must listen. We are, we are still here. We are still here. We are still here on the main campus. And Henry P. Costa is about to leave. And he's now leaving the car right before you. Is Henry P. Costa there leaving? And we will keep talking to some of the students. Uh, yes, we will uh, have a short conversation. We will have a short conversation with the students. We will have a short conversation with the students' unification party chairman right after this. We will try our possible best to talk to the chairman, just a short interview, to talk to the chairman about the Okay, uh, we are about to talk to the chairman. Just a short conversation after witnessing the arrival of Henry P. Costa, and he was a part of it. So, uh, chairman, this is uh, this is just a short conversation. I know you are not really prepared after witnessing so many things on this campus. Yeah, it was tremendous. Welcome, chairman. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, James. Yeah, but today we, we saw one of the most talk about talk show hosts in our uh, republic, uh, Henry P. Costa here, and he was accompanied by you. Tell us uh, specifically what is it that uh, you have to bring Henry on campus? Henry is not only uh, the most talk about uh, talk show host, 
He's a revolutionary. Because in a situation where everyone becomes new, where everyone becomes very new, speaking out the truth to the tyrannical regime that doesn't preclude the one who has in my view, becomes a revolutionary act. And that has been exactly this position. And that's why I refer to as a revolutionary. We decided to bring it because so it's a revolutionary progressive organization that believes in yeah. propagating the, 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 the plan of the mass of our people in the Latin and Republic of Latin. Mm. And so you saw the uh, the woman tenor and welcoming of the uh, end of Pedro Costa. He has come here to uh, muster the courage of the uh, of the students. So I will come out in March on June 7 and beyond to propagate and demand the rights and transformation of the country. And so this is in no way different from our own plan because on the 18th of March this year, the Bangladesh Student Unification Party uh, had a very elaborate press conference calling the president, calling the president to resign or be impeached. And this is the only authority because he has got no idea to manage the affairs of our country. What is it? It's a terrible condition of the people of our country. What is it that uh, you really achieved today uh, with the arrival of Henry? Oh, we achieved a lot because the students were motivated by the fact that he was present and he speak to them. Many of them have seen many of them have an international view. Many of them love his business and they love the acting of the Bangladesh National Unification Party. So the fact that he appears here today, he also helped to muster the courage of the students and prepare them for joint service so as to be able to contribute to the transformation of our country that we are yearning for Though you have uh, pledged your support for the protest, but tell us, how prepared or are you really on course when it comes to uh, your previous plan? Uh, James, we are more than prepared. Today, if we are going to plan today, we are going to be out. Because there is nothing much important than living good life. Or life itself. Without life, you cannot do anything you go or less. You have to first of all preserve your life. And where we find ourselves right now is about life preservation. It's about life preservation. Because starvation is a big. When there is no uh, money to even buy the copper rights, people are almost starving to death. And so, first of all, the protest on June 7 is about preservation of life of the Latin people. Okay, thank you. Secondly, we have to protect the integrity and credibility of our countries. We also need to defend the, 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 the subject of our country. Okay. So there are a lot more things. All right, uh, thank you very much. I know you are tired, but before we take leave of you, what is it that you would love to tell Liberians who are All following? All Liberians near and far. Listen to this and listen to our team. June 7 is the only alternative we have to transform our country. In the absence of your appearance to demonstrate what will be our demand in transforming our country will be a tragic mistake. We all need to collaborate to see how best we can matter made for us in making sure that we demand a change, a peaceful change, a peaceful change in a very well organized and peaceful way that will catapult that viewer into the public of global respectability and into a portion of my true world. That's okay. what we have to tell the But we are ready and we urge them all to appear. It's the peace of gallery to demand the government because this country belongs to approximately 5 million people and not the way I have the seditions. Okay. And once our plan may be, they may be doing that. We don't care about it. All we know is come out in mass and demonstrate our constitutional right. All right, thank you very much, Honorable Chairman. Uh, thank you, thank you. Next, uh, we're going to be in conversation with uh, the former chairman. You, you can go there. You can. You, you, you were there before. Uh, you, 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 you served as chairman before. Okay, uh, we have with us uh, the former chairman of the Students' Unification Party. Uh, he's with us today. He came to, to visit the place he came from before he was the chairman. The position that you just uh, listened to the brother who spoke occupies currently. He was there before him. Chief, welcome. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, it's a pleasure. Yeah, uh, for, for, for the sake of the audience, just make a brief introduction. I am Joseph Fahutu Lima, a student and youth activist, a graduate of the University of Dambara, 
GMA Emeritus on the ever good and indomitable ruling Van Asmeen Education Party, the vice chair for operation of the Alternative National Congress Youth Congress. Okay, uh, Chief, uh, you, you, you left from here. I, I, I'm told and it is proven that you graduated from here already and today we see you back on this campus specifically to the place where you used to be. Uh, what are you doing here? What is it you are here? Uh, thank you very much. As a massive craft and a better bone cadre of the Student Education Party, I am a veteran of this party, so every point in time it is my responsibility to check on campus, to talk to the Congress, to see how best they can keep the toy running. And today is no exception, especially where the parties communi the party communicated with me in recent time. They said, Lord Chair Emeritus, the biggest platform most miracles that has been a great help, especially when we were in this Petra Heron Costa came to our aid. So we want you to talk to Petra Heron Costa to see how best you can come on the university campus as a sign of showing you gratitude to speak to the university student and also speak to other national issues. So I communicated right away with Petra Heron Costa. They agreed. He accepted the, the invite and he came. So that's the basic reason I'm here today. And I'm always here on campus. Okay, oh, why? Why you are in support of uh, the June 7 protest? Why? There are, there are issues that are very big that, that they, are, they are all around the place that we can see as massive. But especially when we were on campus, we saw what the regime was all about. We told the people that look, President George, we are operating on scatter agenda, and today we still maintain. And when we started some of these advocates, people saw us as reactionary. They said, look, you give the men some time. You give the men this time. You give the men what time? We let the protest on July 26th. We told the government that look, to spend 500,000 plus United States dollars to celebrate the independence celebration. We felt that it was an affront. When floor was killing our people, when floor was taking our people from their dwelling places. So we let that protest. And on the current, most of those things that we spoke to, they are still their basic. So that's the basic reason we are here and we are member of the Council of Patriots. We will continue to protect the match the, the masses. As a former student leader, uh, what is what is the alternative uh, regarding this protest? Just in case this protest is not possible or the, the, the fruit that you want to bear from this protest is not you possible. You do not need a rocket scientist to tell you that there are mass looting all around the corridors, to tell you that the constitution of our country has been abrogated by this regime. You do not need a scientist to tell you that people are carrying on looting in our country. It's very big all around us and you can see it. So that's the basic reason, for example, our 16 billion was stolen from this country. Up to current, we haven't gotten any redress. All of the reports came out. President Kwekube has not access to any of those reports. Again, the 25 million hour more of process came out. The reports are out. We are here to hear the president. So all these things are happening. Deals the president go into concession, look at the diplomat and the ethanol loan deal. They committed the country and signed that into law of the current that deed is you. So these are the things that we need to protest to see how best we can check with this president to go on addition properly. Okay, thank you very much. Before we take leave of you, what do you want to say? Basically, we'll call on the Labrain, the Labrain youth and students that there is a lead that will speak to the president. Our intent, like everyone has said, is not to tell the president to step down, but it's for the president to check brief and listen to the masses of our people. Okay, thank you very much. Thanks. Well, folks, thank you very much for joining us. That is. That is what we had for you. So, uh, so uh, this is how we want to go home. Many thanks to you. My name is James Samia Goodenflow. I catch you when you see me next time. I love you.